Hey everyone, welcome back for more Exo Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss the state of the game after playing for 200 days. But before that, if you want updated content for Exo Zero's, please hit the subscribe button down below. Hey guys, we'll start off with what has been good with Exo Zero's. So we've had monthly season missions already, um, good rewards, also good way to get Fate Cores. Or Fate Core, actually, stand corrected. And uh, login rewards um, as Leafy's gifts. They have been very uh, generous lately, giving out Dorka with her orange Fate Core. And now, uh, currently happening, is with Rachel and his orange Fate Core as well, with the reindeer costume for Christmas. So, better quality of life for players. So, improvement in your daily quest, dispatch. Quick battle for challenges and UI upgrade in which it has made life significantly better for all players. So you take my word for it. Also, we've had um, uh, an improvement on the air squadron. So now you can get um, uh, golden clocks in exchange for donations in which golden clocks can be used in exchange for nation recruit tickets which i will discuss later on 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 what is the importance of your nation recruit tickets so easier to farm for generals so you can now farm generals or shards of generals in your heyone store um also by getting nation recruit tickets again take note you need golden clocks for nation recruit tickets and also you can get them at the door creation so better rewards as well for new and returning players so they have beefed up the reward system for incoming new players and returning players actually an account of mine recently i just recently played again my free to play account that is why i know that they have been good and actually they, they announced it a couple of updates ago so uh, reward increase events so if you've noticed on the lower left side of your screen when you're playing exo zeros there's an icon there for events so you always check that out if there's an event happening especially on the challenges side because um there are specific events that increase the rewards output when an event flashes on that left um lower left side of your screen also we've had um, enhanced unleash potential because um, before unleash potential only went up to I think legendary now it's up to faded heroes and they have really bumped it up to increase your stat and also improve your skills additional unleash potential skills were added for your passive your s1 and your s2 so check them out for the heroes that you've been you've been bringing for your team and try to um try to farm the material for your unleash potential system and also to top off everything um the game is now more free to play friendly because um i've seen um the game uh, a bit much easier easier to play um easier to farm for resources your zest your again for generals because generals are a big part of the game now in which i'll discuss it later and what has improved recently for exos heroes so what has improved recently so you have your inventory system um recently the inventory system counted your equipped uh, gears um in the inventory so pretty much you've you've had a full inventory most of the time but now once you equip your gear it will be taken off your inventory to to give you more space also there has been improved content for the door creation um more reasons to try to utilize it and to to convert um currency for materials also, one big part or one big improvement is the Holy Water of Universe Farming. So now you can buy them at Hail One Store as an option. But recently, I've noticed also an increase, increase uh, percentage in, in, in the drop rate for your Holy Water of the Universe. So you'll need this material in your, in your Awakening. And uh, what else? 
yeah awakening and once you six star sorry once you six star a a a hero and you awaken them you'll need holy water of the universe i keep for forgetting that so anyway lower difficulty of chapters 11 to 14 and path of trials this is very essential because um what i like about these stages it's is that you could farm zest from them you could farm materials you could farm gear and it's really a big help because as you as you improve um through the stages the 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 the, the rewards actually become very good and much more you know much more relevant in the game um especially for gear and uh, and for zest the the amount actually increases as you progress as well so also for you pierce labyrinth from my experience the the difficulty has been has been lowered a bit not not the not the ones that were used to that that some of the stages were so hard now the stages are a bit easier to accomplish not not really very taxing for your players also we have improved pvp or zibens tunier but there's still need or a room for improvement on the tier system but in terms of um combat um the play recently pvp has been improved somehow by uh what do you call this by your signature force but again they still need to improve the tier system in which players go up the tier system and get more rewards i think the top rewards should should op should be opened up to a lot more players rather than a selected few and also what, what i mentioned before is the signature force and nation recruit ticket they're here together because your nation recruit tickets actually would uh, eventually convert um into into generals or or or, or fated uh what do you call it? fated copies of your generals signature force take note is fueled by your generals so uh, you can level them up by leveling up one general and having to consume um, copies of that general. So if you have six nations and you have to more or less prioritize the nation that you're actually uh, using or most of your heroes are in. Okay, so zest farming, big improvement, events, lower difficulty content. Again, I'll go back to... <clears throat> I'll go back to... The chapters in path of trials and there have been a lot of events recently um some of them have been refunds from certain content um especially for the recently concluded um what's uh shell banner so uh, they have been very generous in terms of zest um also content coupons as well and we've had better rewards actually for Exos Pass and your Core Raid Pass. Better rewards than before. Um, even if for a free-to-play player, um, my my free-to-play account have has taken advantage of this because for the Core Raid Pass, I also got um, a Fate Core ticket for free just by completing it. Okay. Um, also, I will have to acknowledge the the shop deals, but only for specific events, like the one that they had for Black Friday. That was a very good um, event, and the packages there were very very good. Um, so far, one of the best um, deals that I've had in the shop. Also, now for Christmas, I think they've had good deals, but. Um, one thing that I would like to, you know, imp that they would improve is on the fixed deals that they have on the shop. So let's move on to the bad. <laughs> so for the bad, these are uh, these things are, have room for improvement. Um, don't get me wrong. So for the quantum raid, my God, um, what a horrible way to launch a new event. I'm trying to play the quantum raid for december because i didn't play the quantum raid for october because i really didn't like it um and from what i've seen the quantum raid for december has a lot of improvements to it so i'll 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 probably play this one the awakens the awakening or the awaken system is actually 
Well, it's pretty much very expensive on gear, on leveling up gear. Um, it's really, really a tough, um, tough um, hurdle for a lot of players, especially for free to play and for beginners. So I hope that they would lessen the requirements for this. The same that they did for the Signature Force recently, they lessened the requirements for stages 3 and 4 or levels 3 and 4. Also, we have their Infinity Core, which I'm not sure if uh, they're going to improve the rewards on because Infinity Core, no matter how, how, how you play or how many of the stages you play, you still to get 200 cess flat. So I hope they will soon improve on this because um, how can you, you know, entice the, the, the player base to play um, this content if they don't get a variation or a variance on, on the rewards. So I hope they do improve on the Infinity Core. Also, you have your die station. Your die station is actually good, but the problem with the die station, your currency that you're using here is this, in which there are also a lot of random selections. It's not really you choose the, 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 the specific color that you want. So I hope they change the die station because this is really, really sucks right now. Um, a lot of people don't have extra zest um, to buy, to buy to buy die, die tickets, I think. That's what it's called. Also for the Coliseum, again, please take out the the random, sorry, the random team is okay as long as you permit the players to play in manual mode after, I think, during the five or fifth level of battle. So please have this on a all manual mode so that players will have a chance to complete the Coliseum every day. Also for the scout system, the the points that you should reach is actually very, very big. Also, if they could improve on this, the better. Airship Forge as well is not really popular. The unique, unique, unique gear here uh, or unique weapons are not really um, enticing and it costs zest again, which I don't really like. So I hope they could change the currency for the Airship Forge. And also another another one, a repeat of the last um, rating that I had. So community communication and in the updates, some of some of the communication are not communica communicated well in terms of grammar. Uh, most of the stats, um, the players cannot really understand on how it works. So I hope they fix this. Also, the last for the bad is your Garden Stone element change for heroes and gear. Again, because they're using Zest to, to, to change the Garden Stones for heroes. And for gear, they're also using gold, I think. And gold... Um, it's also rare, especially when you use it here, because every time you change, it's actually a random change and it costs 80,000 gold. So this actually is a, is a big deal for all of the players because we're trying to fix our Guardian Stones. So for my recommendations, um, better permanent content. So that's one. Not just the regular events that, that just pop out every month. So regular everyday content. Offer more stat customizations and hero tweaks. So basically for the stat customizations recently we've had, uh, we have this actually in the um, Signature Force, which recently got out. Better customizations, but... Um, I w it would be better if it were individual hero tweaks. Better shop offers. What I mean is the permanent offers that you get every day, every week, or every month. Not the event offers, which you get only per event. Also, an alternative currency for die station, garden stone element, change for heroes, and exclusive weapons. So again, I mentioned this earlier. This has to change because... Um, these are consuming zest, in which zest um, are being used by the players for summoning um, heroes. 
and also option for manual play in the Coliseum for stages 5 and up. Anyway guys, that is it for me. So if you have any comments, suggestions, please write them down below. Also, please don't forget to support and subscribe to my channel. This is The Warden and I'm out.